So Ben, uh, welcome to Fright Fest. You're here with your film Year 10, which is screening as part of the first Blood Strand later. Uh, how are you feeling about the screening? I'm very excited for the screening. Uh, we have we have had a cast and crew screening. Uh, ca- <laughs> we have had a cast and crew screening already, so it has played in the cinema. But this is going to be the first showing in a really big cinema, and it's great to have it at such an iconic location at Leicester Square. And the first Blood Strand, you know, it's been happening for the last few years, and it's this this strand of programming that champions, you know, new voices with the genre sphere within the United Kingdom. How important is it, do you feel, that Fright Fest does take the time to uh, champion these voices? I think that's really, really important. I think, especially for genre films, there aren't many, or at least, at least recently, at least until recently, it's felt like there haven't been many avenues for uh, female filmmakers to really get their foot in the door. And I think it's great that Fright Fest are uh, offering a platform for people making their first uh, feature film to hopefully get noticed. And I think that maybe some people would think, you know, a film with no dialogue is maybe easier to make than one with dialogue, but I'm guessing that that's not true? Uh, I, 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 would, I would guess probably not as well. Um, there's a lot more action, and uh, even though a lot of the action is quite simple, a lot of it is just... Um, you know, uh, sort of everyday action. Actually, to shoot that requires quite a lot of blocking and quite a lot of shots. So, uh, the, so, so, so I don't think it's any easier to direct, certainly. Um, and you know, you have you have to think the, the, the speci- specific challenges to doing that. You have to think about how you're going to convey. Uh, the intentions and the reactions of the characters without dialogue and how are you going to convey to the audience the plot and uh, exposition and all those sorts of things. So there's an awful lot to think about. Um, on the other hand, I'm not, I'm not sure it's necessarily harder than doing a film with dialogue. I just think it's got its own unique needs. And how does it feel having you know a leading man who is also a director of photography? You know, Is there any extra nerves bundled on there? Any extra what, sorry? <laughs> Actually, it really helps, I think, that Toby had experience of working with cameras. Uh, he was able to... It's just, uh, you'll get the same thing with it, very experienced actors, but Toby isn't very experienced as an actor, but because he's experienced in the camera department, he was able to just second-guess everything that I, that, that I was trying to do and just had a shorthand. In ter- we had a shorthand in terms of communicating what we needed. Uh, so that was... So generally, it was really beneficial. Um, I think the other great advantage to Toby is that he's actually a real survival enthusiast. He's been on lots of survival trips, and it was really helpful to have that expertise with us. So for a lot of the uh, practical or physical acting... That came very naturally uh, to him as well. And I'm guessing it helps when you're filming in winter in the middle of the woods that you've got somebody that knows how to keep you all alive. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did have to make one fire, which he made just with, by rubbing a stick together. We actually cut that scene in the end. It wasn't needed. But, um, yeah, between takes, he was off doing all sorts of tricks with, uh, you know, making little spears and, and showing off and doing stuff like that. So he kept everybody entertained. Lovely. Well, I'm going to let you go and enjoy your screening later. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. So, Duncan, welcome to, welcome to Fright Fest. You're here with um, the film Year 10, which is screening as part of the first Blood Strand. What was it about this film that made you want to get involved with it? Well, um, I was approached to do the film, and then I saw a short movie that Ben had done with Toby on YouTube, and I really loved the kind of kinetic way he was shooting. It just really dragged me in just really beautifully shot and also the fact that there was no dialogue in the movie really sets it up as a real like kind of acting challenge and, I, I'm, and it's pure cinema so that really attracted me to the, to the project and how different is it acting non-verbally to verbally because you know a lot of the time it is you know it's the script that's relied on yeah we discussed it uh, leading up to the production and, and pretty much decided look you, you just can't do anything you know and he, despite that uh, ben would have to keep pulling me up and say, you, you stop acting, you know, because you're probably just walking and despite yourself, you're like hamming up with your face. So it was just really good to drill in that kind of discipline of just being really minimal, being letting the audience kind of like uh, fill in the gaps and the spaces. You know. 
And with so few characters on screen, the you know the countryside becomes its own extra character. How did working in that environment sort of shape um, everyone's performances? Do you think? It was tight. I mean, uh, it was also we shot it during COVID, so we were all in like lockdown together in a little kind of camp, little. Uh, so that really kind of builds up comradeship and you know we were all in it together it was cold it was winter we would, mud was getting into places that it shouldn't have got so yeah when you do that kind of shoot it, it really brings everyone together and later on when the fright fest uh, fans watch this film what do you hope that they take from it i haven't seen it myself yet so i'm very excited but i hope they are excited by the way it's shot um and take away how pure cinema can be, you know, which is just images. You know. Well, I'm going to let you go and enjoy your festival. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Toby, uh, welcome to Fright Fest. You're here with uh, Year 10, which is screening at Fright Fest as part of the first Blood Strand. Uh, how are you feeling about the screening? Yeah, really excited to see it again. I mean, I've seen it about 50 times, I think. But I've got some friends coming, and, uh, yeah, it's just really it's exciting to be part of such a big festival and uh, especially here in us as well it's nice yeah. and it must be nice getting to talk about the film because in the film you don't talk yeah I don't talk have you seen the film okay yeah yeah no dialogue in the film um, yeah no it's it's uh, also it's it's I guess quite an easy thing to talk about because I hadn't acted before so there's that element element to it for me um, but yeah no it's, it's exciting to share it all and, you know, I think a lot of your career, you've been behind the camera, you know, doing a lot of um, director and photography. Well, how was it sort of transitioning to them being in front of the screen? You know, are you sort of second guessing what the cameraman's doing almost? Uh, yeah, it was pretty terrifying. <laughs> Although it was, it was a, you know, a relatively small budget film. It was still pretty scary. Uh, but I... Yeah, I think I adjusted to it after about a week or so, and then it got easier. There was something I was going to say about it. Um, what was the question again? Yeah. Yeah. I have a, I have a lot more respect for actors now. There's a lot to think about. You've got to be on your mark. You've got to know... Well, you know, I didn't have any lines to know, but they usually have lines to remember. Um, it's, everyone's talking all the time at you. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. Yeah, I definitely... Uh, it was interesting seeing it, because I'm so used to being around actors from the other side. It was very interesting being in their shoes. And I think it will make, you know, make me better at uh, my DP career as well. And it's a very physical role as well, you know. How did you sort of, like, prepare and train for that? Kicking the tripod. Um, how did I prepare physically? Um, didn't do much physical preparation. I mean, I, yeah, I guess I did a bit of... Make sure, made sure I was quite fit. It was a lot of running, yeah. Uh, but my knees took about two years to recover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> it, was, it was tough, and it was, a, it was also winter, so I was barefoot and in my box for a lot of the time which wasn't very nice <laughs> and I mean the film is kind of like it's set in a, you know, a post-apocalypse sort of landscape um, there's a lot of these films around there what do you think it is about year 10 in particular that kind of stands out from some of the others I think well it's, a, it's first of all it's quite interesting that there's no dialogue that's um, it's a very rare to see a film like that uh, seeing something so it's very high energy and it's kind of relentless, relentless action uh, and something shot in the UK is, uh, is quite, in quite unique as well. Yeah. I'm going to let you go and enjoy your screening later. Thank you. Thank you.